Don't get me wrong, both shows are very great, but one is just better than the other. For me, I gotta say, Avatar The Last Airbender is the main show that I love more from the two of them. The Legend of Korra is pretty good, but not as great as Avatar The Last Airbender. There's some differences between Aang and Korra. Aang is the main protagonist from Avatar The Last Airbender, and The Legend of Korra Korra is the main protagonist. So the key differences between them, well first, well, Aang is a boy and Korra is a girl, obviously. But the major differences between the two is that was how they came to be the Avatar. It was written in stone that they were going to become the next Avatar. But like for Aang, he didn't want to become the Avatar at all in his storyline. And it was a time that the world was at war with the Fire Nation. The nation took over and everybody was so afraid of them and nobody was there to stop them. And so Aang was the only person to beat the Fire Lord. He didn't want to become the Avatar, but he was forced to. Oh yeah, and one more thing I forgot to mention about Aang's story. Around the, like the fourth or fifth episode, he tried to go back to the Earth Kingdom. But then he found out that the whole kingdom was gone. It was deserted. Nobody else was there, and that's why the show is called The Last Airbender. He became the last airbender ever known to the world. He just wanted to become a regular kid. He just wanted to have fun, but due to this, he was forced to become the avatar that we know and love. As for Korra, for her, well, the good thing is that she had loving parents and that she grew up with great teachers, especially Tenson, which is Aang's his son. The Legend of Korra is actually a hundred years later after Avatar The Last Airbender, if you guys did not know that. Both of them, they had to master all four elements, the earth, water, air, and fire. As for Korra, she had a very difficult time mastering air. That was like her major weakness. She didn't know how to at the beginning. What I don't like about The Legend of Korra is that there's so many bosses on this show. There's four of them on each season. And on Avatar The Last Airbender, there was only one major one and there was one more as well. So in total there was two on Avatar The Last Airbender and on Korra there were four. But I gotta say the my favorite two bosses from The Legend of Korra has got to be Oman, which is the the person that wanted equality that didn't not like benders at all and wanted everybody to be equal he wanted to take everybody's bending away and my second favorite character from the legend of Korra has got to be so here this man is, is pretty awesome the cool thing about him is that he only mastered one bending scale and that was because of the harmonic convergence. During season 3, that's when he got to have these powers. Korra did not let spirits go back to the spirit world and that's how they came into the world and somehow there were benders, there were airbenders that were born. They were given these powers. But one of them had it to be so here. He was a prisoner and then he, he escaped. What he wanted to do is that he wanted to free people from people who are in control like say a queen or the emperor he didn't like people that ruled and so he wanted to free the people but like the bad thing is that he wants to do it in a bad way he wants to do it in the most violent way as possible that is why we know him as a bad guy because of his actions again those those were my two favorite villains from the legend of Korra and I gotta say the the fighting scenes on the legend of Korra they're awesome they were pretty slick man <laughs> pretty awesome it is way better than avatar the last airbender because of technology now they can make an an even more better animated show than it was before but here's why i really like avatar more than the legend of korra well it's because of the characters we got ang we got guitara and we got sokka the three main ones, the three main characters for The Last Airbender. We saw them grow and we saw them fall at times. Mostly it was Aang because he's the main protagonist. 
but we also saw Saka uh, try to learn how to become a, a leader. At first, he was just like a, a cowardly person at the beginning. As time passes by, he learned how to become a great leader, and he was very respected from his waterbending tribe as he went on his journey. As for Katara, she became the love interest for Aang. And as for her, at the beginning, she was just trying to learn water bending. And by the end of the show, she became a full fledged master on learning how to water bend. And like, she was the main person that kept the team together. Because at times, they argued with one another. And she was like the key person to keep them all together when they were about to fall and when they were at their worst. And again, as for Aang, uh, I said before, he was just a, a little kid, but like, his destiny was to face to face the Fire Lord and take back the world from evil. He also had a very difficult time learning how to earth bend. That was like his main bending that he tried to learn very well. He got to learn it from this girl named Toph, but she's a blind person. She cannot see with her eyes, but she can hear very well and is, and is a very great earth bender. She became the teacher for Aang on learning how to earthbend. Without her, I don't think Aang could not have defeated the Fire Lord. As well as Suku. His main goal was to catch the Avatar so he can regain his honor from his father. But like throughout his journey, he changed into a good guy. And he became the teacher for Aang. He taught him how to firebend. Once I saw this part when he became a teacher to him, I was surprised because he came a long way. He grew as a character. That's what I really like about Avatar The Last Airbender. On The Legend of Korra, you don't see characters grow that much. Well, not really. Just just Korra, but not like, not like the side characters. As for the team of Korra, we have Mako and Bolin. They're brothers, and before they knew Korra, they were orphans who grew up in the streets, and they also had a chance of becoming professional ball players. Throughout the seasons, we didn't really see them grow as much. Well, Korra and Mako had a relationship with one another, but things did not work out, and that's why they broke up. And Bolan, as for him, he became a, a well-known actor in the series but like again like i said before we didn't see them grow as much as we saw characters from the avatar of the last airbender grow and yeah that's about it guys i hope y'all really like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos and as always guys live to the fullest